Right, loads and loads of bluebells. Loads of them. Loads of bluebells, loads of green leaves. Look at that big mass up there. Right, I got a feeling this there's somebody up there. I can't see some. Somebody up there. A girl. But this is the right this is the road. I can remember being there being tall trees and uh And it was quite nippy at the time, I remember, as well. But everywhere you look here, there's loads and loads of bluebells, like car carpets of bluebells everywhere. And this little wall here. In many ways, I'm not out of set, I'm not out of time. I was still always on course. It's just I had to try and verify with a few people. Uh, so if I went off course a minute each time, that's all. I went to see the church, which I wanted to do anyway. And uh, look at this though. It's loads of them. Just loads and 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 loads of bluebells. And I bet it's very pretty up there where that girl sat. This little wood here. It's time a long way from home, by the way. I am a long way. I knew this was going to be a, a big challenge. Now, once I get to the Canada Coom area, it will be fine. I'm sure this is the road now. And it does go on away. But I'm, I am hungry as well. I haven't had my cheese and my tomato or any crisps. I was going to stop at the church, but because I wasn't quite sure where I was, I thought it was more important for me to get back on track than to eat at the moment. God, look at that. Look at that. There's loads of it, isn't there? I bet it's lovely on the Mendips. I bet upon Roboa Warren. I bet it's fantastic. Just turning off now just to um, take a picture of this particular scene here. Right, I'm back. A bit further up is a junction. I turned to go the West Mendip Way this morning, through Locks and past the church, up Crooks Peak, down Crooks Peak, <laughs> headed for Crook Christon. The church was closed, of course. Then I just had to remember the track to come back up. Um, I always thought it was bigger track, but that's because the trees are tall. Oh, it's, it's beautiful, beautiful wood there. Bluebells, my God. Absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, I got back on track. I knew this was the way. When I was on Crook's Peak, I could tell from the trees and the white cottages from right over there. It's just that when you're down on that road, you can't see anything. And uh, I, had, I asked a few people, I asked a few, well, one person only lived around here a year. Another bloke didn't know, he said he was local. And I thought, well, you don't know where Canada Coombe is. I said, it ain't even very far away. So, in the end, a couple from Scotland. Believe it or not, 
living down here, exploring the area with their dog. All I needed was reminding. I've done it on my bike. I've done it. I've walked it. And I've walked it today. Now, earlier, it was very hot. No, it was cold, cold, and a cold wind. I'm going to take my jumper off in a minute. In fact, I'm going to take it off now. Because it's so bloody hot. I'll keep that, I've got to keep the hat on. What else have I got to eat? Right, I've got cake. It's nice, I'll have a bit of cake. That can go in there. It's a sheet of talking. Getting, taking a jumper off, it's now quite hot. Easy 25 degrees. Fortunately, I've been in the shade quite a lot. Coming up from Loxton, yeah, the woods and the trees, lovely trees by the way. Some fantastic trees around here. There's us a couple of examples right over there, those big ones. That one there, and that one there, and that one there. Absolutely magnificent trees. It could be that they're very similar to the ones I passed. I took lots of photographs of them. Now there's Crook's Peak, which I stood on at about ten past twelve. I was on top of there. I didn't stay long, because I know I had a long way to go. There's ponies. There's been ponies and some people up there for ages. I walked round to the base again, then down through Loxton. Uh, I, I decided not to stop at the the church on the way back. I'd already stopped it and, we, and it was open. I was and there was prayers everywhere. It was beautiful for that to be open. <sighs> Honestly, it was, I was really happy when I found that was open and I found an ancestor. <sighs> anyway, I thought right now go go to Christon or Christon, whatever it's called. Go there and go and take some photos of the outside of the church in case it didn't open. It wasn't open. It's a lovely church, great big solid thing. And uh, I've been in it before, I've probably got a leaflet. <sighs> then I just thought, you know, you better find which way you've got to go up, Sheila. <sighs> I asked a few people, I didn't seem to know anything. Eventually there was a couple that did know, and I needed reminding, that was all. I just needed reminding. <sighs> right, it's very hot, everyone. I've got my hat on. Here's Sheila. Got my hat on, it's bloody hot. <laughs> Don't care what it looked like. Earlier... I had to have windshield and scarf, and I was cold. I was going blue at one stage. Anyway, after that, it got hot. Now look at these. This is a beautiful wood, and apparently it is private, but there are ways in it. People, the locals know. That's full of bluebells in there as well. I skirted round it earlier when I went on the West Mendip Way to Loxton. So I've now got a gentle walk back to Western Supermare. I'm not bothered, I'm enjoying every minute of this. I just love being out here. I'm not a sunbather. I'm not one for sitting in a chair even. 
you can't, I get restless. I can sit in a chair and have a cup of tea maybe. Then I'd have to wander around the garden. Time is now six minutes past three and we're on the turn. We're on the turn. We're nearly back to the junction. So we've been round, round, up, down, round, up this valley, then up through a beautiful wood full of bluebells. Absolutely gorgeous. It was the grand finale for that walk, to be quite honest. Now, though I got a bit anxious at times, because um, I wasn't sure and no one seemed to know. <sighs> And I was going on memory from about 13 years ago, and I'd only ever done it once then. So, and I was more or less right, I was actually going the right way on my own, on my own instinct. Every tree offers a little bit of respite, and I'll be going in the wood in a minute. Yeah, I'll get off that Roman road, I think. I'll go through the wood. It'll be cooler and the bluebells should be out. I don't want to walk down the Roman road now. So in a minute we'll be on the wibbly wobbly path back down to Canada Coombe. I'm going to go through the bridle way because it will be very cool rather than going through the hamlet. I think I'll do the bridle path and then try and get over a gate into Hutton Wood. <sighs> right. Soon be at the junction, so I'm turning off now. We're only about two minutes away from the junction, if not a minute. 